Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on MLB The Show 17, continuing the Pirates franchise, and I made a quick move. I decided to just, you know, make it without you guys. So, we... Oops, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Okay, so, we sent Coco Crisp. We're trying to send him down to AAA. That's the whole, that's the whole goal right now, is to send him down to AAA, and hopefully he clears waivers. If he doesn't, then it's whatever. Um, because I want to bring up Elias Diaz. I want to be able to slide Elias Diaz and Coco Chris back and forth, send Elias Diaz back to AAA, and then send Coco Chris back to the majors just to give Chris Stewart days off. He's old. I want to give him some days off, so Elias Diaz is going to be doing that. He's going to be giving him a day off today. So we're going to go ahead and advance the calendar day. The AAA Indians do not have four valid lineups. Okay. What does that mean? Four valid lineups. What do they need? Triple. What does Triple A need that I'm not providing them? Oh, Triple A. Triple A is missing someone. Uh, does Triple A not have a catcher? Uh, Triple A might not have a catcher. No, AAA. Jin De Zhang can move up to AAA. There, does that fix it? AAA. Well, what the heck is the issue with AAA now? Okay, fine. You're going back to Class A. Go back to Single A. Um. Oh, are we. Do we need a first baseman? Uh. Let's move Edwin up. Okay, how about that? Did that fix it? No, it okay, auto fix it. Let me figure what what did it move now? Who's not who's not in the majors? It was in the majors before. Okay, all of those guys are in the majors, that's good. It's got my starting pitchers, that's good. Ozuna. Okay, I got my catchers. Got the win throwing That's fine. Mookie Betts and Goslin. Yeah, Ichiro, Coco. Okay, I don't know what happened. In the National League Central. I the don't Braves exactly know what changed, but that's fine. Okay. Time for us to take on Bronson Arroyo and the 0-6 Cincinnati Reds. Bronson Arroyo actually didn't take the loss in his first uh, game where he had posted a... Oh my gosh, the Reds have a collective 12 ERA. I feel like for this, we need some alternate uniforms for, ooh, digital, we might go with the digital camo. Yeah, let's go with the digital camo. Let's go with, let's go digital camo. Julio Tehran taking the mound. Chris Stewart getting his day off. Elias Diaz in. Gregory Polanco could use a day off. He's, he's, he's running a little low on energy. So is Marte. So do I just take like a we'll 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 give him a day off on a simulated game. Uh, I think the next one Joe Ross pitches, and I think technically he's our best overall pitcher. Uh, so we'll go ahead and give Joe Ross the kind of crappy lineup. We'll set some guys. Um, we'll probably give Chris Stewart another day off. Uh, so we'll play Elias Diaz again, and then so maybe the next game we won't set anybody, and then the third game of the series we'll go ahead and set people. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. And I don't know why my, like, my, like, headset here, or and it's not even a headset, it's just ear pods are, like, echoing into my ear, and I don't know what's going on. That fixed? No, it didn't really fix it. Alright, Mookie Betts, Joey Votto. I'm gonna replug these in. Julio Tehran taking the mound, 1-0 record on the year. 1 and 2 th or 1.23 ERA in 7 and a third innings. 5 hits, 11 strikeouts and a .68 whip on the year. So all right, that fixed my mic. I don't know what the heck was the issue. All right, Jose Perez is leading off and not Billy Hamilton. Very interesting. Number 9. Oh, Tehran. No, not a not a leadoff single. That was close. Mookie Betts got out there, though, to get Peraza out for the first out of the day. Billy Hamilton. All right, so they're batting Hamilton second. Not where I would bat Billy Hamilton, but I might play as um, 
depending on how fast this goes, either this year or next year, I'll probably want to do a Reds franchise and build around Billy Hamilton's speed. Because I don't... I think he's old, but I don't think... Oh, did we get him? No! I'm going to challenge it. I'm challenging it. I'm going to challenge it. I think we beat him out. There's a chance. Do we beat him? I think we got him. I think he's out. I think he's out. My chair is making... Dude, this video, this, this whole start of this episode's been weird. My mic, or my heads, my earbuds, and now my chair. Call in the field is safe at first. Okay, what did they, they overrule it? Yes, he's out. Let's go. I thought he was out. Alright, Joey Votto. Julio Tehran's one issue in real life is giving up homers to lefties. Hmm. Keep throwing these four seam fastballs into Joey Votto. Probably not going to end well, but we do get him to fly out to the center fielder. Keep moving back, Marte. And it's a 1 2 3 inning for Julio Tehran. And we'll head to the bottom of, bottom of the first. Can we do some damage on Bronson Arroyo, who's actually been pretty decent in real life? Him and Jason Vargas, the resurgence of the old guys. But Starley Marte, two home runs on the year. Center fielder, Starling Marte. And Marte gets under one, but it's going to stay in the park. Well, Bronson Arroyo gets Marte out to start the game. Sander Ogar. Ah, just foul. Bronson Arroyo and that weird leg kick that he has. Fouled off from Bogarts and Arroyo uh, up to 0 2 in the count. I gotta be able to hit Bronson Arroyo. And a single up the middle. Third, second baseman, Betts. Betts and his three home runs are up. Three home runs through six games. And he's going to pop it up into foul territory for the easy out to Joey Votto. Batting fourth, first baseman. Eric Tim. Eric Thames. And he hits a ground ball to Joey Votto, and that'll end the inning. Bronson Arroyo gives up a single to Xander Bogarts, but gets out of the inning without any damage. Leading off for Cincinnati, the left fielder, number 23, Adam Duvall. <laughs> Get him out. Get him. Yes. There we go. Batting fifth. Third baseman number seven. Eugenio Suarez. All right. Let's throw him away to Suarez. Try to get him 0-2 in the count and then bring it back in. That was a meatball down the middle. Not exactly what I was looking for. So a slider on the outside. outside. And just outside. I think with the sliders, I want to bring them in a little bit because they always tend to carry out a little bit. So let me try this this time. Okay, got him chasing. And let's bring up a four seam fastball up and inside towards his hands. And got him swinging. Five up, five down. Batting six, second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. Gonna pitch him low in the zone for Scooter. 
Let's throw a curveball now. A little bit outside. That's not where I wanted that, but luckily he was unable to do anything with it. Now let's throw it up in the zone. And he fouled it back. Uh, I'm going to tag him with the two-seam fastball up top, and then if not, I'll go I'll go with a slider in and at his hands. One ball, two strikes to count. Heck, not in at his hands, it's low and in, inside. That's not what I wanted, but he swung at it. And that's going to be an out. To end the inning, Julio Tehran, six up, six down. Leading off for the Pirates, right fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. And Kutch will get a single into left field to lead off the bottom of the second. Batting six, left fielder, Gregory Polanco. And Polanco going to get one down. Go, Polanco. Go home. I kind of screwed up. Polanco wouldn't go or I would have had a triple. And one run is on the board for the Pirates. Really? The official decision was an error on that? And I swung in a low ball. I want to swing away on Bronson Arroyo and I got to kind of... Gotta kinda calm it down. I'm not taking that base. I'm not trying it. No outs, guy at second, I'm not risking. I swung at two balls like way in the dirt. And I I can't it won't let me move him, okay? That was weird. Did he make it? Oh he made it! It wouldn't let me move Polanco over. I kept I was clicking left. I clicked L1 and then I tried to like move the thing up and hit at or B and it didn't work either. That was stupid. Nah. Jason with the pitcher. That's not good. I kind of want to steal, but the third baseman is really close to the base. That's outside. I mean, if I can get Tehran walked here, that would be nice. I have a better chance probably of getting him walked and getting a hit. Though I think I'm like 1 for 7 or 1 for 6 with my pitchers. Ooh, just caught it. You know, I don't... Oh, there, you hold... Okay, there we go. He's safe, and we're all safe! Julio Tehran gets the butt down and bases are loaded with no outs. Oh. Fouled off into the seats. I think I was late. I think I was way late. Yeah, very late. And he's going to sky one up. Got him! Center fielder number six, Starling Marte. And Bronson Arroyo got a chance to get out of this. First and third, two outs. After they throw Polanco out at home, but Marte cracks one. But it is going to, it's going to stay in the park. And Bronson Arroyo escapes the inning with only one runner allowed. Leading off for Cincinnati, right fielder, Scott Shubley. Let's throw him a slider now. Nice little fly out. 
for out number one. Leo Tehran pitching a gem. Tucker Barnhart. Pitching a gem as he's seen six batters and sat them all down. Only 21 pitches. And it will be 22 to get the second out of the top of the third. And it's eight up, eight down. Batting ninth, pitcher, Bronson Arroyo. And now Bronson Arroyo up. Takes fastball low. Let's throw him a slider. And that just goes outside. Throw him another slider. All right, Bronson Arroyo, I see you taken. And there's a curveball in. Let's try to hit him with another slider. Try and get the strike out. And he fouls it off. Bronson Arroyo giving Julio Tehran the hardest, the hardest that bat he's faced all day. And he gets him there with the fastball, and Arroyo strikes out, and it's 9 up, 9 down for Julio Tehran. No hits for the Reds, one error. Two, only two hits for the Pirates. Bogart's up. Leading off for the Pirates, the shortstop, Sander Bogart. Fastball in towards the hands, fouled off. Only 20 pitches for Bronson Arroyo. Arroyo loaded the bases and still only has 20 pitches. Gets Bogart swinging there. And it's quickly 0-2 on the Bogarts. But he gives them one right there that goes into left field, and Bogarts will be on board with a leadoff single. Now batting. Second baseman, Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts, who gave a ball a ride in the bottom of the first, is up again. And he'll get another ball to swing at, but it, it goes lower than I expected. 23 pitches now for Bronson Arroyo. That's low. And I'm not running Bogarts. I'm very reluctant to do those. I don't really want to get a guy caught. I don't really want to get a guy caught, and not even stealing, it's just like caught, trying to advance. So I'm very reluctant to ever do those. Oh, chase that ball outside. I got to count one and two. Take a little bit of a lead with Bogarts. Did he go? I definitely, definitely held up. What? What? I thought for sure I got he got back in. And he gets bet swinging for out number two. I thought for sure Bogarts got back on base. First baseman number seven, Eric Tim. Oh, a nice ball for Thames to drive and foul tipped. Man, that was good timing and everything. And that's low and inside for ball one. And Thames is going to pop this one up. Four, out number three. And that ends the third inning. And Bronson Arroyo, three hits, one earned run, pitching a very good game. Julio Tehran still not allowed to hit as he'll face the top of the order once again. Leading off for Cincinnati, shortstop, Jose Peraza. And Peraza takes strike one. Peraza lays off a ball low and away. And he hits one foul, but they're going to get there. McCutcheon's going to get him out for out number one. The 
top of the fourth. Center fielder, Billy Hamilton. Billy Hamilton gonna try to bunt his way on again. No, he's swinging, and it's gonna go. Is that foul? Okay, it went foul. Do a slider. And fouled off by Hamilton. And Hamilton fouls that one off. And he strikes out swinging. Billy Hamilton goes down to bring up Joey Votto. The first baseman, number 19, Joey Votto. That's kind of cool that they show all the pitch sequ the, all the pitches of the at bat in order to get that strikeout on the sixth pitch. And Votto fouls it off for strike one. Fouls that off for strike number two. Hit him with a fastball low. And he fouls that one off. Okay, it wants a slider. Let's give him a slider. And he fouls that one off. Set him with another slider. And I got him swinging. Joey Votto down, and that's 12 up, 12 down for Julio Tehran. Pitching a no-hitter through four innings. Leading off the fourth for the Pirates. Right fielder, number 22. And McCutcheon fouls that one off on a foul tip. Ah, chase that one out of the zone. I'm depressed with Bronson Arroyo's pitching so far. And I chase that one out of the zone. And McCutcheon will strike out to start the bottom of the fourth. The left fielder, number 25... Gregory Polanco. And Polanco will fly out to left field. Third baseman, number five, Josh Harrison. And Josh Harrison will softly ground out. To end the inning. And Bronson Arroyo pitching a nice game against the high-powered Pirates. Remains a one nothing game. Leading off for Cincinnati, the left fielder, number 23, Adam Duvall. And Julio Tehran will look to go five scoreless and five hitless innings. Pitch count still looks pretty good for a complete game if he can do it. As he gets Duvall swinging. And that is 13 up, 13 down for Julio Tehran. Tehran gets called strike one. And he gets him swinging on strike two. And he gets him swinging for strike three. Julio Tehran pitching a gem. Now batting. Second baseman. Scooter Jeanette. Scooter takes strike one. No. It's 
He lays off ball one. Ooh, lays off a barely ball for ball two. Misses on strike two. And Julio Tehran gets him swinging. And Tehran threw five innings with a no hits. Julio, Julio Tehran over halfway to the no hitter. And he will lead off the bottom of the fifth Leading inning. For the Pirates. Etcher, Julio, and he'll take a ball one outside from Bronson Arroyo. And uh, Tehran will get on with a single off of Arroyo. And Bronson Arroyo getting all the position players out. But Julio Tehran. Two for two. As Elias Diaz comes up. And swings at strike one. And Elias Diaz with a single up the middle and Julio Tehran to second. Two on, nobody out in the bottom of the fifth inning. First major league hit for Elias Diaz. Starling Marte. And Marte, 0 for 2 on the day. Takes ball one outside from Bronson Arroyo. And a ball to hit. And it'll be a double play. Julio Tehran the third. And Startling Marte cannot believe it. Xander Bogarts, two for two on the day. Looking to go three for three and drive in an RBI. A nice strike from Bronson Arroyo on the outside corner. Most of his pitches like that have been going well outside. That's what I was expecting there when he threw it. That's low. And Bogarts drives one down the left field line foul. And Arroyo, now with the pitch count in his favor, will look to strike. Bogart's out to end the inning and get out of this jam. But a ball way outside and and Tehran. I wouldn't have got there. He mo ah Bogart's motioned me and I thought oh god that's my fault. Bogart's motioned me and I thought it was clear and then when I was coming back Arroyo got there before he would have had the out. Just, that's why I hate those pass balls. I need to just stay every time a pass ball happens. Because I always I always do it wrong. And going to get an easy out here for Tehran. Keep his no-hitter alive. It's a one nothing no-hitter. Now batting, catcher, Tucker Barnhart. And Barnhart fouls off pitch one. And he's going to take strike two. There's been a lot of pitches they've been taking that, uh... And he takes strike three, and Tucker Barnhart sat down. The pitcher number 61, Bronson Arroyo. And Julio Tehran, one batter away from going six innings of no-hit baseball. He's actually got a perfect game going because I haven't walked anybody. And Arroyo swinging at strike two. 
Let me just throw him a slider, see if I can get him to chase it outside. Nope, that's not where I wanted that ball placed. And gets him swinging. Nah, 18 up for Julio Tehran. 18 down. No hit baseball. A perfect game going for Julio Tehran. As Bronson Arroyo swings through. And Julio Tehran notches another strikeout. Leading off for the Pirates. The shortstop. Sander Bogart. And Bogart's foul strike one out into the stands. Very late on the contact. Only 46 pitches for Bronson Arroyo. And it'll be a dribbler from Bogart's, a short ground out. And Votto with the ball gets him out. Up next for the Pirates, second baseman, Mookie Betts. And Mookie Betts. Can, will it get down? It will. And Mookie with a ground rule double. First baseman, number seven, Eric Tim. And Thames is going to pop this one up for the out. And, oh, it was fair. Son of a bitch. I wasn't even thinking. I was like, oh, okay, well, he popped it up. Okay, well, Mookie will just go back. I wasn't even thinking about it being in fair. Leading off for Cincinnati, shortstop, Jose Peraza. And that's going to be foul. And it will be a routine ground out. It's always a little nervous for me, especially with a no-hitter with a perfect game going. For me to have ground balls, because I'm not the greatest at fielding them. And Hamilton going to pop out Mookie Betts back, and Betts will make the out. Julio Tehran one out away from going seven straight no-hit innings. Facing the toughest batter in the lineup, Joey Votto. And he gets strike one, Votto swinging. And Votto strings through strike two. And Votto swings through strike three. Strikeout for Julio Tehran, and it's 21 straight batters. And Andrew McCutcheon up to start. Leading off for the Pirates. Right fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Bronson Arroyo still out there. And McCutcheon fouls it off. And McCutcheon swings through and it's 0-2 quickly. Bronson Arroyo, six quick innings of 49 pitch baseball. And McCutcheon swings through for the strikeout. It's a pitcher's duel in Pittsburgh between Bronson Arroyo and Julio Tehran. Gregory Polanco. And Polanco reads the ball wrong as it goes low for a ball. But swung at. And it's inside. He takes this one for a ball. And swinging at a lot of balls in this game. And that's outside for a ball. And he's got to get it down. Polanco with a single in the left field. Baseman number five, Josh Harrison. Runner, runner, runner. 
And Josh Harrison hits a dribbler. He's in. He's in there. It's safe. What? Dude, those looks are so awful. That looked that looked safe by a mile to me. Like, yeah, I don't know. And a line out from Josh Harrison to end the inning. And Julio Tehran back out there. Leading off with the red, the left fielder, number 23, Adam Duvall. Come on, ump, I'm throwing a perfect game. Give that to me. There we go, strike two. And he's going to fly out to Gregory Polanco. Out number one of the eighth inning. Julio Tehran trying to finish off the perfect game. Eugenio Suarez. Eugenio Suarez up. Takes a ball outside. Come on up. Throwing a perfect game here. Oh, uh -oh Rod Mookie, get there. And two down in the top of the eight. The batter, number four, second baseman, Scooter Gannett. Scooter Gannett, two strikeouts in the game so far. Takes the ball one low. Tehran just outside. We might have to start hitting them with some fastballs. Just make sure they're in the zone. I can't. I don't want to. Oh my gosh. Ump. Ump. Give me the call. There we go. Strike one. Foul. Strike number two. I'm not going to get there. I'm not even trying to run for it. Oh, gosh. This could get left over the plate. Oh, fouled away. And he gets him swinging. Julio Tehran. Eight scoreless, eight no-hit innings. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Reds, number 21, Michael... Lorenzen. Michael Lorenzen into the game and Julio Tehran staying in the game as he's up to bat. And Tehran fouls off ball, ball number or pitch one, pitch number one of the at bat. And Tehran swings through this one late. And it's 0 2 on Julio Tehran. And Tehran will ground out softly to the second baseman, or to the shortstop. Now batting, catcher, Elias Diaz. And Elias Diaz, who got his first hit in, in the majors, is up again. And he will drive one. Is it out? It is not. It is caught by the left fielder. Center fielder, number six. Starling Marte! And Starling Marte up to bat, and it's way inside, almost a hit by pitch. Marte looks at strike one. And Marte will get gloved and thrown out. 
third baseman to first baseman Joey Votto, and Shepler, Barnhart, and Lorenzen. The three left for Julio Tehran. Tehran trying to put a perfect game. Scott Shebler up first. And he gets the call. Strike one to Scott Shebler. And it'll get lined out to Bogarts. Out number one, Tehran. Tehran two outs away. And strike one. And Tehran gets him chasing strike two. And it's way inside. Oh, what the? That's got to be an error. That's got to be an error. And shooting for Cincinnati, number 33, Jesse Winkler. Finch running at first for the Reds. Number 30, Harris Mendy. Alcantara. That's a base hit! They gave him a base hit? Oh, well, Tehran can still fit. Not going to be a perfect game. I choked it. And Bogarts, or Mookie Betts choked it coming up to grab that ball. Because if he gloves that, I think we still get him. And it doesn't matter because there, there's a single. And I have a can I can I take a coaching visit to the mound? Just want a quick minute at the mound. All right, Tehran, let's get this. And one more out to end, to end the game. A complete game shutout for Julio Tehran. The batter number six, center fielder Billy Hamilton. And Hamilton looks at strike one. He swings at strike two. Get him out. There we go. Out number three, and Julio Tehran completes the complete game shutout. Gives up two hits in the top, in the top of the night with one out. But Julio Tehran still pitches a complete game shutout. Nine innings pitch, two hits, 12 strikeouts. For the victorious Pirates, one run, seven hits, no errors. They left five men on base. The Reds, no run. Julio Tehran gets the win. Bronson Arroyo gets the loss in a very good, well-pitched game from Arroyo. Jesse Winker goes one for one to break up the no-hitter from Julio Tehran. The perfect game, the dream for Julio Tehran, broken up by Jesse Winker. But we do come out with the win, and the Pirates are 5-2, and two, and the Reds are 0-7. So next is Scott Feldman. All right. Go ahead and quick manage. At PNC. Joe Ross will take the mound. And Chris Stewart is almost recoverable. We'll let Elias do it again. And then the final game, a lot of our outfielders are going to rest. We might have like a full like rest day and a lot of our... Wait, what? Starling Marte, the bench coach has suggested a changing the lineup to give him rest. We're going to skip. We're gonna. He's going to play this game. He gets the next game off. Okay. Okay, so Joe Ross gets a fly out from Praza. Hamilton lines out. Votto doubles. Adam Duvall lines out. Starling Marte up, and he's going to ground out. 
Bogarts lines out and Mookie Betts grounds out. Joe Ross fly out, or he get, he gets a fly out. Scott Shevler up and he's going to fly out. Thames with a single. McCutcheon double play. Polanco walked and he steals second. Harrison on gets the first on an error. And Harrison caught stealing. Walk for Barnhart. Feldman strikes out. Barraza strikes out. And Hamilton strikes out for a strikeout of the side with a walk in there. Ross versus Feldman, a strikeout. Diaz pops out. Marte with a single. And he steals second base. And a double by Bogarts brings him home. Mookie Betts singles to bring him home. Mookie Betts steals second. Tames up and Tames grounds out. Votto against Ross. Votto walks. I'm perfectly fine with the walk for Votto. Not fine with that. Bases are loaded. And it's a sack fly. It's 2-1. to one. A line out and a strikeout. Joe Ross gets out of it. Feldman, McCutcheon. McCutcheon grounds out. Blanco walks. And he steals second. Harrison walks. Ooh. Bunt. Sack bunt gets some to second and third with two outs. Elias Diaz up. And he strikes out. Joe Ross lowering his ELRA as he strikes out Feldman. An error gets Peraza to first. Hamilton out, or Hamilton on to first with a fielder's choice out for Peraza. Vados, Hamilton steals, and a strikeout by Vado. Marte flies out. Bogarts grounds out. Betts with a single, and Betts steals second base. An error gets Thames on. The Cutchin up, he singles to bring Mookie home with two outs. Polanco up, he grounds out to end the inning. Joe Ross against Adam Duvall, and a single from Duvall. A double from Eugenio Suarez. Scooter Gannett strikes out. Shevler singles, two runs scored, and we're all tied at three. A fly out. Bench hitting for the Reds. Number two, Zach Cozart. Zach Cozart up, and he grounds out into a fielder's choice. Now pitching for Cincinnati. Number 55, Robert Stevenson. Robert Stevenson up against Josh Harrison, and Harrison flies out. Ross grounds out. Elias Diaz strikes out. Ross will see one more inning. Top of the seventh, the ground out. A walk to Billy Hamilton, a single to Joey Votto, a stolen base by Hamilton. A double scores two runs. Adam Duvall, a walk to Eugenio Suarez, and that will be it for Joe Ross. As in comes Wade LeBlanc. Now pitching for the Pirates, number 38, Wade LeBlanc. And Wade LeBlanc gives up a single, a runner is thrown out, but it's 6-3, a fielder's choice out ends the inning. Stevenson against Marte. Marte hits a solo home run, and it's 6-4. Bogarts grounds out, a fly out from Mookie, and a strikeout from Tames. LeBlanc gets a fight, pop out. Stewart. Turner. And Stuart Turner into the game to face LeBlanc, and he will pop out. Peraza flies out and is back to McCutcheon in the bottom of the Your eighth. Attention, please. Now pitching for the Reds, number 31, Drew Storin. And McCutcheon grounds out. Polanco strikes out and Harrison grounds out. We go to the top of the ninth. Wade LeBlanc gets an out from Hamilton, an out from Votto, and a strikeout at the ball. Pinch hits. Ichiro. Ichiro. Oh, oh no. The pitcher. Ichiro. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Reds, number 26, Rysel Iglesias. Rysel Iglesias is going to end this. Ichiro pop out. I'm going to pinch hit for Elias Diaz with Stewart. And a fly out. Marte. And it's over. The Reds beat the Pirates. Chris Stewart. Six or six four Duvall player of the game, two for four with a double, a walk, two runs scored, and two RBIs. Stevenson gets the win, Rysel Iglesias the save. Joe Ross's ERA has ballooned to 7.71, a whip of 1.71, and 11.2 innings pitched. 14 strikeouts to go along with that, but he's now 0 and 2. For the final game of the series with the Reds, as we give them their first win of the year, Shohei Atani faces off against Brandon Finnegan. And this will probably, this is going to be an interesting game because people are going to rest. As Shohei Atani will take the mound, Starling Marte is going to rest. 
Oh, uh, hold on. Let me see if I can send Elias Diaz back down. Did Coco Crisp get a... Knowing your coaching staff is important. Okay. I want to... Did Coco Crisp clear waivers? Coco Crisp did, so I can call him back up. So, um, catcher... Elias Diaz moved to AAA. And I'm going to send Isaiah Kinnerfelefa to AA. Got three catchers in AA. And we can bring Coco Crisp back up to the majors. Because he's going to get to play today. Shoei Atani. So Marte out. Coco Crisp in. Phil Gosselin in, Mookie Betts will get the day off, Bogarts I want to get the day off, Gift will play, David Freeze will play for Harrison, Polanco out for Ichiro. Is there anybody? Ooh, McCutcheon might need it more than... Hmm. McCutcheon needs the rest. Everybody needs... McCutcheon needs the rest more than Mookie does. So Mookie will bat clean up. So it'll be Coco Crisp will lead, eh. It'll be Ichiro leading. Ichiro will lead off. Coco Crisp is going to bat. Well, it's Phil Gosselin faster. No. This is a really weird lineup. Okay, so Thames and Mookie will not get the day off. As Mookie will move back out to right field, Thames will play first. I think that all looks good. We've got... So Mookie will probably get the next day. Mookie, let's have Mookie lead off. What am I doing? Ichiro, Mookie, Coco, Gift will hit fifth. Yeah, Gift will hit fifth and Thames. Okay, so there we go. Billy Hamilton, Shoei Atani, and Atani gets a ground out, fly out, and a strikeout. Mookie bets up first, and he singles. And will steal second base. Ichiro up, and Ichiro walks. Could do a double steal here, but I won't. Coco Crisp walks, and the bases are loaded for Eric Thames. Thames will single to drive in two runs, and a great start to the the B team of the Pittsburgh Pirates as Gift strikes out. Strikeout for a freeze, and Gosselin hits a three-run homer. Phil Gosselin, and it's 5-0 in the bottom of the first. Brandon Finnegan's ERA is ballooned to 16.2, and Shoei Atani is up, and he will ground out on a bun attempt. Atani versus Duvall, and he gives up a single. A walk to Cozart, a double play moves Duvall to third, and a pop-out ends the inning. Chris Stewart up, and he will walk. Mookie Betts back up, and he will walk. A strikeout of Ichiro. Coco Chris strikes out, and Tane strikes out. To get Finnegan out of the inning. Shoei Itani back up. Gives up a single to Jesse Winker. Finnegan strikes out. Hamilton strikes out. Gannett grounds out to end the inning. Finnegan back up against Gift. And Gift will ground out. Freeze ground out. Gosselin ground out. And we're to the top of the fourth. Votto grounds out. Duvall flies out. And Cozart flies out. Now the pitchers have really settled in and are really... Really at it. Shoei Itani up. He grounds out. Stewart grounds out. Betts grounds out. And it's Itani versus Eugenio Suarez. And Suarez doubles to lead off the inning. Tucker Barnhart flies out. Jesse Winker up. He'll pop out. And Finnegan. Oh, a Finnegan. Cincinnati. Petra, Jose Peraza. Finnegan already out of the game. As Peraza will pinch hit for him. And Peraza will fly out to end the inning. Ichiro up. Now pitching for the Reds, number 25, Cody Reed. Cody Reed in to face Ichiro, and Ichiro will fly out. Coco Chris strikes out. Thames will ground out. Now Hamilton versus Atani. He'll ground out. Gannett singles. Vado flies out, and Duvall strikes out. Gift up facing Cody Reed, and he'll single. Gift on, and he will steal second base. Gift and Gopi. Stealing second base, and David Freeze with a single brings home Gift. And Phil Gosselin up as he'll ground into a double play as Shoei Itani will ground out to end the inning. Shoei Itani trying to get his ERA under one, faces at Cozart and strikes him out. ERA now under two. Eugenio Suarez grounds out, and Tucker Barnhart pops out. Chris Stewart up, and he walks. 
Mookie bets up, he'll fly out. Ichiro doubles. Coco Crisp up, second and third, one out, and he'll single to drive in both runs. Eight nothing Pirates. Tames up. Coco Crisp at first, and Tame strikes out. Coco Crisp steals second base, and Gift grounds out to end the inning. Shohei Atani up against Jesse Winker, and he'll fly out. Cody Reed up, pinch hitter. The pitcher number 43, there we go. Scott Shebler. So Shebler into the game, and he'll fly out. And now the speedster, Billy Hamilton. This will be the fourth time through the lineup today, I believe. Yes, yeah, the fourth time. So Shohei Itani will come out. And in comes Dellen Batances to finish this late. one out. Now pitching for the Pirates, number 68, Dellen Batances. And Dellen Batances gets a fly out to end the eighth. David Freeze got against the new now pitcher. Pitching for the Reds, number 21, Michael Lorenzen. And Michael Lorenzen. David Freeze singles. Brings Phil Gosselin up and he'll single. Dellen Patances up. Nick won it. Or I, I, I just referred to myself in the third person. I wanted to have Dellen Patances finish the inning. Or finish the game. But I'm going to pinch hit here with the guys on base. And so we're going to bring in the guy who has the most energy. Which is Josh Harrison. Is it going to announce him? No. Okay. Josh Harrison singles to score a run, and Chris Stewart is up, and Stewart will line out. Mookie bets two on, one out, and Mookie strikes out. Ichiro grounds into a fielder's choice to end the inning, and now we need to put a new pitcher in, so we will put in... We'll put in Roberto Ozuna. We'll put in Ozuna. Now pitching for the Pirates, number 54. Roberto Osuna. Three. So Ozuna strikes him out. Vado up. Ground out for Vado. And now I'm going to put in Bearclaw. For the Pirates, number 46, Kyle Bearclaw. And he will get the ground out to end the inning. I like to get those guys in in the same games just for whatever reason. Player of the game, Shoei Itani. 7.7 and two thirds innings pitched. Four hits, no, no earned runs, one walk, and five strikeouts. The winning pitcher, Shoei Itani, who's 1-1 one one on the year now. 15 innings pitched, 10 strikeouts, 1.80 ERA, and a .87 whip. Brandon Finnegan, 0-2, 8 and a third innings pitched. So he's barely, he's not even going long enough to be qualified for a win if they were ahead. 10 strikeouts, 9.72 ERA, and a 2.16 whip. So... We go 2-1 and one against the Reds. We're 2-1 and one against every team we've played so far, so I will take that gladly throughout the season. Go ahead and advance. We need to auto-fix AAA again. Sure, go ahead and auto-fix that. So now, Brett Anderson and Jose Urania. We have the Cubs pitching Brett. We'll be up again. And welcome to Inside the Show. In the National League Central, the Chicago Cubs combined to give up just five hits as they got the best of the Dodgers at home, four to two. Looking at the standings, the Cubs sit in fourth place in the National League Central Division, while the Dodgers are atop the NL West. The Reds got 11 overall hits as they got the best of the Brewers at home, 9-1. At the moment, the Reds are in last place in the NL Central, and the Brewers are atop the NL Central. The Miami Marlins had 12 hits as a team as they got the best of the visiting Mets, 8-3. Heading into today, the Marlins are in fourth place in the NL East, while the Mets are in last place in the NL East. The San Francisco Giants bested the visiting Rockies, 3-2. As of today, the Giants are in second place in the NL West. And the Rockies sit in last place in the National League West Division. The Yankees completed a short two-game sweep as they beat the visiting Rays 6-1. The win was their fifth straight as a team. Looking at the standings, the Yankees sit in first place in the American League East Division. And the Rays are in fourth place in the AL East. The Toronto Blue Jays total 11 hits as they took down the visiting Orioles 7-2. At the moment, the Blue Jays sit in third place in the American League East Division, while the Orioles sit in fourth place in the American League East Division. The Chicago White Sox combined to allow only four hits as they beat the Tribe in Cleveland 4 to nothing. Heading into today, the Indians are in third place in the AL Central, and the White Sox sit in last place in the American League Central Division. 
The Tigers combined for a four hitter as they grabbed the win over the visiting Twins three to two. As of today, the Tigers sit in second place in the AL Central Division, while the Twins sit in third place in the American League Central. Chris Davis had an outstanding day driving in five on three hits, leading the Athletics to victory over the Royals 13 to five. Right now, the Royals are in first place in the AL Central, and the Athletics are in third place in the AL West. The Rangers earned the three-game series sweep as they pulled off the win against the Angels in Orange County, 6-3. Looking at the standings, the Angels sit in last place in the American League West Division, and the Rangers are in first place in the AL West. And that's what's going on around baseball heading into today's action. Join us again tomorrow for more updates from around Major League Baseball. All right, so in the next episode, we will head to Wrigley Field to face the Cubs. First, we'll take on Brett Anderson, who holds a 9 ERA, 0-1, and 5 innings pitched. Next is Jake Arrieta, who is 0-2 on the year with a 10 innings pitched, 9 strikeouts, and an ERA of 4.5. And then, finally, we will face John Lester, who's 1-1 on the year, 13 innings pitched, 12 strikeouts, and a 3.46 ERA. That's who all will be playing the game against it'll be Julio Tehran again but I wanted to play against John Lester I didn't actually know it'd be Julio Tehran I was hoping I get to play against Lester either here or here and since I can't guarantee that I'll, well I guess one two three four five one two three four no I won't play Lester here I don't think because this would be this would be lackey uh what's Hendrix Anderson, Arietta, Lester, Lackey, Hendricks, Anderson, Arietta. Yeah, so we won't get to play against Lackey or Lester in either in this series. So I want to play against him here, even though it'll be Julio Tehran pitching again. So we will see how the series goes, and maybe we'll either be going for a sweep, or knowing the Cubs, we'll probably be going to try to save ourselves from getting swept by the Cubs, because four and five, that's not an accurate description of the Cubs. So. We'll see how they do. We'll see how Jose Urania does without me pitching for him, like how he does against the Cubs. Him and Brett Anderson, I'm expecting to get shelled, even if I have to sit Moogie Betts. But, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.